back at it again, Rick Saratella on location, 2019 NEC Media Day, here with Eric Brown. Eric, welcome to uh, the show here, welcome to the Media Day, and it's nice to catch up with you. I saw you on the uh, Pro Day trails just a couple years ago, and here we are, now your senior campaign, entering your final year. Doesn't time fly? It sure it does, but you have to enjoy the journey. Of course. Definitely. You know I mean, I remember that day, it was cold, sometimes there was some rain. I remember one of my old teammates, great teammate Joshua, was, was performing, yep. ran fast, right. flew it in drills, and you was out there with the camera and guys. And I remember around that time, one day that day would come for me. Yes. I mean, but there's still 11 guaranteed more games to play with my brothers, and I got to give them all I got. I like that. Well, let's talk about that because I see here they have you listed at 61215. I know that ain't right. <laughs> <laughs> so what's, what are we weighing these days, Eric? Yeah, my mom was not having that. 6'3. Um, <laughs> 300 yeah okay all right so now talk to us a little bit uh about your your personal style of play for those tuning in they pop on the game film on eric brown what kind of player they're gonna see out there they're gonna see an intelligent football player a very athletic football player fast lengthy and like this. some people they say they have shut down corners they shut down tackles if you watch the film you'll see there's 31 games and there was 31 bad games for defensive linemen linebackers edge rushers you, you put in the work and do the preparation so that you're prepared for all those games. And there's some guys that have been profiled or have been prospects that we get sometimes even at the Division two level before. Yeah. So, like, you got to come into those games ready to go. And out of three years when you've only let up a sack and a half, it, it speaks for itself. One and a half sacks in three years. NEC, be on the lookout. Mary Max coming in full-fledged. And welcome to the conference, by the way. Tell me a little bit about your coach I'm going to uh, meet here in a second, Coach Coran. Coach Curran, yeah, he's a very demanding guy. I remember in high school, the day after our state championship game, he called me and said, if you get everything squared away, we're having you here and you will be a four-year starter. And he's, we've lived up to that together. Him coaching me personally as an online coach and being with us in the film room every day with me, myself, Sam Cooper, Miles Cobb, Clay Legault, and Steve Liakos. He's, he's a tough guy. Our indie periods are like game day. It's the hardest part of practice. He calls it Reach Fit Fuji. It's the fastest thing you'll ever see. He has, and he's, he's, he's on everything, man. I'm talking about if my split's not right, if I'm taking a playoff, he's, he's my hardest critic besides my mother. And he only does that because he knows the potential that I have as a player and that this team has as a team and that how as a leader that can reflect upon the team if you're not doing what you're supposed to do or if you're not giving the extra push or putting in the extra work to do so. Well, it's one thing to say it. It's another thing to do it. Shout out to Coach. Shout out to Moms back home. Hopefully she's uh, watching and tuned in. But Eric Brown is a name you need to know. You heard it here first. Eric, look forward to the upcoming season. I'm sure I'll see you out there on the scouting trails.